Okay, I'm, I'm going to do a quick one on religion. Religion, religion is just a human science. It's an intellectual science that arises like every other science. Now, sciences, human sciences, um, like architecture or law or um, um, being a musician, uh, they're not labeled as such in our brain, uh, ready to uh, come out with the force of evolution uh, for when we have the tools for it. Um, they occur because the necessity of life, for example, architecture, um, our level, our uh, category of intelligence, having being, I mean, being uh, so much uh, beyond what animals can do, uh, is able to construct and to build, correct? We're able to see how structure works and we're able to now lift, uh, create, manufacture tiles and, 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 uh, and found steel. And so the necessity to, to apply our science um, makes us focus, concentrate, and require other people that have learned the skill, the skills that are about that. And this, let's take architecture, for example. Um, and so naturally we collect and the science arises. The label for that science appears after the necessity. So the human, human sciences are, are, are created naturally by the species, by the intelligence of the human mind. Religion is no different. It's a little bit harder to explain, though. And my theory is, this is my theory, that upon making, upon man's, when man sees that he's making uh, the world, he sees himself, his species, uh, creating, designing civilization and, uh, and uh, living by it, he goes by his inventions, he takes those elevators, he fires those cannons, he obeys uh, the, the written laws of chemistry or, or legalities that he's put down, and he uh, makes himself run through the apparatus of his invention, civilization. But, as we know, um, our the voracity and the, uh, the ability of our mind f produces an intelligence that is self-serving and does not harmonize with nature and thus our sciences fail continuously. I mean, they, they may satisfy and they succeed for a while and they may run the world uh, for a while, um, but the more sophisticated and the more sensitive we become to ourselves, and in any case, we start finding that we got it wrong, we were hurting people with that vaccine, it turns out that that's, that kind of material doesn't hold out the building and our bridges collapse and so our our science is actually because we don't think like mother nature like creation uh we, we they are an extrusion and an, an extension of our logical uh, human nature's intelligence um fail us and end up harming us and so my theory is that you know mankind thinks about it and says, what did I do wrong? What, why are we killing our own babies in wars? And why, why I trusted those people and they went and robbed from my, from my property? And um, just, just as natural of an impulse it is to start thinking in an intellectual realm of morality and uh, values and principles and, and a more esoteric level of um, of behavior and which has always existed has always existed why uh, people say religions they, they they cast them out like oh uh, it's something we recently tried but it doesn't work no religions have always been in civilization that have always been part of every culture of every country and there's a reason why and so uh, what is lacking is that we have an understanding of why mankind produces religion now the problem is uh, so, in other words, to complete my theory is that when we see, when we are subjected to the failing of our own um, design of civilization, 
this other area of, 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 um, of thought starts, you know, coming up with principles and things like, well, then uh, we ought to be considerate of the weak. Why? Because we build buildings, let's say, uh, the architect builds, builds a building. If you're strong, you can probably hold up the roof before it collapses. But we, since the science failed, it, 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 it collapsed on top of the elderly that were left in the house by themselves. So upon seeing that our logical human, uh, let's call it quick intelligence, the creator, the designer of our sciences and engineerings, fails sees well we have to learn to be more compassionate and understanding because in these buildings there will be elderly living and so arises a school of thought that has to do with how to um, which basically answers to the failing of our of our engineering logical quick and ambitious intelligence and it becomes spiritual, moral uh, principles and values and and uh, directives, or and we start now. Now comes the more interesting part: is how did it end up? How did we end up putting God there in in, in that? Um, the truth is that we don't have the the answer for why nature does not, how nature comes up with perfection so and besides there's lots of theories there's people that say that we have to have some identifiable uh, entity to answer to the unknown because there always is uh, this is fascinating stuff I love this stuff but so I, I'm not going to explore on, 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 on what I'm, I'm hoping to be a, a quick video uh, what I'm trying to get, uh, trying to describe is the theory that religion serves the purpose of helping us handle better the precociousness of our, um, our intelligence, which ends up harming us, which ends up failing in the long run, in the short run. We make mistakes. Um, so it's sort of a natural, we, we produce it naturally. We, we, um, go to a wiser part of our brain and it says wait you know when you get hurt you got to walk slowly you can't just put a cast on your arm and run and so putting a cast on your arm and continuing to work is what what the the, the engineering the the um, part I call it engineering because it's it's problem solving you know it's 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 using our intelligence to further our our subsistence and our survival and protect us and so it's very logical um, has to that uh, this other part of the brain has to say um, learn to walk slowly if you injure your arm which has nothing to do with producing a cast or a band-aid or a, a, a vaccine it is about how you behave how you think wisely and so this is my theory that we produce uh, arises a, a, an area of of reasoning um, that prescribes uh, towards temperament, towards behavior, towards um, how we treat one another. And the reason that God appears there is that basically we have no authority that is tell. We just know that we gotta, you know, be a little wiser in order to not uh, suffer, uh, not uh, suffer the consequences of our own intelligence. And so, since it's it's. You know, it, it becomes a, a, a circle without beginning or end if we don't stop it someplace by saying there is, uh, God is the one that knows that, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Who knows that? And, and so we, we uh, um, endow uh, a name. And so, and it actually, this goes into existing already theology because in theology, we talk about God not having a name and being a, a, um, a force that hollowed itself out of the universe and 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 the unmentionable one and, and it has to do with this predicament that we have a, 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 a wisdom a collective and, and individual wisdom that says yes we like our intelligence it's working great but now since we never had this 
um, this understanding of us producing both of these, there has never been a relation between religion and state or science and we've really been all over the place. We, we change and we start saying that evolution is against religion. And today you could actually, there, the, the, the idea of God and religion is, has gotten so exploratory and so big that you can easily say, well, why could not God also contain evolution? Why does evolution have to deny God? Um, if God is the great, a great creator of the universe, then he, he made evolution for many planets. Uh, um, so it's a, it's a great time to be thinking about this, but religion is not an enemy. We have used the, the ways that we have phrased it and, and created stories and, and created the spirit about it, the, um, the sort of authoritative environment of it. Um, we vest ourselves with we say God is on our side, and so we're better than you, and so we have, we ruin it, sort of say we we um, use it to, to justify wars, uh, when in reality the, the religion itself is not what causes the war. And in spirituality, in scripture itself, it says, uh, "Don't uh, you know? Just like do as I say, don't try to be me, or not as I do, or something." Right? It's it's, it's, there are these little, there are several instances throughout religions uh, the center is always attempted to be weakened and there's teachings that says don't try to put your finger on, 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 on it or who what, or God is and we don't even hear that. We, this is probably the wisest and most important teaching of religions to not try to own it, to not, you know, um, but you know you have to also to be able to think in this this way you have to be able to be uh, secularly religious you have to be able to confidently say well we wrote religious it wasn't written by God now God may inspire all of life and everything we do and, and now there's new age religions that say God is everything which don't contradict this so there could be a paradox there is a paradox um, that we're just not very, uh, that we're not paying attention to, which means God made it, our creators made it possible for us to be the creators of every word and idea about religion. At the same time, they made it happen so that we realize we can work on that. We can make a religion that um, is wise about uh, teaching ourselves how to be careful with ourselves, which is basically what religion is. It tries to teach us be careful. So instead of seeing it that, uh, in a way that, um, uh, the way it has always existed has separated two ideas. You're either religious or you're not religious. The church exists and they don't, it doesn't mix with state and even if where, where you have a even where you have uh, states and nations that are uh, religious states like uh, Iran or the Vatican or many Latin American countries, they, they have, uh, you know, um, their official religion is Catholicism. We still ha keep it separate. We don't, uh, we have not known a world where we honor religion as something that is necessary so that we can be wise about how we invent civilization and how we treat one another and that would mean that would have to necessarily be a religion that accepts everything we do as it accepts it, it would have uh, starting fundaments that are completely different to right now it wouldn't say that uh, what we have interpreted probably maybe it exists there to be interpreted correctly but we have made it into get, uh, man is born of evil, for example, and so that immediately creates a separation because if light and uh, evolution and life uh, proliferates and furthers itself in the universe, it's giving, it's emanating, it's good, it's not uh, destructive. But uh, religion teaches that um, that man was born out of, of darkness, whatever. I'm, I'm, I can't even. Uh, quote it right now. I don't remember. I'm thinking too much in the concept of this. And perhaps um, 
if we're able to have a religiously uh, secular thinking spirituality, um, we we might be able to align it, align them for the first time, and create a religion that um, guides the um, the the ambitious intelligence want to do want to have capacity to to thrive a hundred a thousand times better than any, any animal can with what we got and you know when you think about it i think that we're kind of like dabbling all around and we're sort of getting there blindly without with our eyes shut um it seems that i'll i'll just say it real quickly because i don't want to make this any longer but um if there's something that makes the most sense and that ought to be the most important thing for mankind and this is se thinking secularly of course and it seems to go and fly in the face of religions but it wouldn't disagree with uh, pleasing God because if you take care of God's creation you're you're honoring his creation and you're honoring him um, and so uh, that said if you think about what is the most important thing for mankind what is the most important thing for the species? It is definitely that we have a good house, that our air is clean, that, that we don't breathe uh, our, our basic essential elements of life, food and air and water, and, and um, there are no toxins, you know? And what are we doing? We're actually all around there. We're, we're actually doing all this stuff, but we're, we haven't aligned everything. Um, and then, of course, it would have to be health. This may be a little bit more radical. Uh, more than money, more than this, more than that, more than how we behave or how we make somebody uh, behave or not behave or how we judge beyond anything uh, that could possibly the, be the most important thing for, uh, if we think of ourselves as a singular species, as a collective, as a, as a family unit, um, you could have one voice and what would that voice say is also the most important thing for everybody it would have to be our health since we we are going to die and we all have these 80 90 70 uh, poor Carmen Miranda I just found out today she died at 46 such a sad story and yet look at how what a lovely vibrant life she had anyways um, we're all going to have a, a finite um, span of life um, I would guess that what matters what should matter more to us and to everybody and should matter to us about other people is that that span of life is the healthiest happiest most satisfied most fulfilled experience that any that, that we can have when we come to this earth so you have already two principles that are uh, could result in, 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 in scientific political uh, ambitious part of the brain um, and uh, you have already uh, uh, a, a, a esoteric moral spiritual principle values area that is producing that so it seems that um, what religion and government let's just say or sciences or architecture or uh, you know medicine uh, are are basically our two our two forces like the queen and the king you know they, they the king rules and, and it's the one that goes out and conquers and say we're going to take over that other country you know and the queen doesn't right the queen is there and not in not in Britain obviously <laughs> but in the traditional sense of of, of king and queens uh, she's there wisdom close to the council of the of the priest, you know, and could they, she's, you know, he, he approaches her before, before, uh, before she talks and, and speaks wisdom to her lord, right? And so it seems that that's what it, the world could be: is the house of spiritual wisdom and guidance, and the one that's doing stuff, that's ordering and administrating the world. So you see, religion doesn't is not can have a form, a comprehensible. And like I explained at the very beginning of this, um, it obviously has been produced by a natural need. And I think this, this theory that I have uh, attempts to explain what that natural need is.